Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is, uh, what, day three? Day three of Costa Rica, and last night was the night that we found out the hard drive broke. But we're feeling, all fine now. Feeling better after sleeping on it. And after reading all of your guys' amazing comments and stuff, because... You guys were really nice. Thank you so much. It yes. actually helps so much. We really, really appreciate like, it. Waking up to so many comments. It was really like, nice. Thank you. Letting people, like, letting us know that it's happened to them, and that it got fixed. I don't mm. know, it just made me feel like it could get fixed. Yeah. But um, anyway, let's not think about that till after Costa Rica. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go to breakfast now and then find out what we're doing today. Hello, sleepyhead. So we've just been assigned our jobs for the morning and today uh, me and Jess are working together and we're going to yeah. clean out the sloth cages, <laughs> the mama suits, or no, no sloths. Um, sloths, I can't remember the rest, the sloths definitely. I think we're just working cage. that way, yeah. Yeah. You kind of did this job yesterday, but now you're showing me. Yep. So everyone kind of like, team up with someone that knows it and then you teach the next person. Yep, that's, that's how, how it works. works. You ready to go in? Make sure they don't get out. <laughs> I was reading a fun fact that sloths only poo once a week because... And um, of course it's my turn to clean it up and it's pretty. Yeah. Enjoy! Sleep. Good morning! Food's almost ready! Did we wake you up? Or can you smell breakfast? Oh, back to bed. Good morning! This one's just under the blanket. Okay, it's time to, to get up. Hello! <laughs> See ya. Good morning! Good morning, mister. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. They're so cute, Steve. They are so cute. They'll be more active in like... Two minutes when the two food comes. When food comes. <laughs> hey, mama. So this sloth here is actually a mommy sloth. Well, about to be a mommy sloth. She is pregnant, but the biologist here isn't sure when she got pregnant, so she could pop this week, could pop next week. It would be amazing to see the birth while we're here, but they're not sure. They think it's like another two, three weeks, so she's very cute and she's she's very pregnant. <laughs> she's gonna pop anytime. Guys, if you remembered yesterday, two of the monkeys escaped. They got one of them in last night, but the other one has just come back. Probably because he's hungry and breakfast has been served soon. See, because they can't, um, they don't know how to survive in the wild. So they're still trying to teach them to survive in the wild, so they're just about ready to go. They um, need to go as a family as well. Yeah, they need to go as a family. So this one is, he's come back because this is breakfast time, so his stomach's probably remembering. <laughs> This final sloth cage is probably the, uh, the sloths with, that are most active. We've even kind of seen them walk on the floor, which I'm just putting it out there, looks so weird because they're not made to walk on the floor. Um, so yeah, I think we caught some footage yesterday. They look like zombies. They look like zombies, yeah. But they're waking up. I think the best job here uh, that we've done so far would be feeding the baby sloths. So definitely jealous. Uh, the teenage sloths. So definitely jealous when, when I see other people feeding them. Jess, you missed out. I'm they hot. were feeding the teenage sloths. I'm hot. <sighs> this is Sarita. She's blind and she only has one ear. Hi. Where's the rest of your tree? One of the volunteers found a coconut, so they're just serving up some fresh coconut for everyone. So yeah, today's the day that we have been traveling full time for seven months, and Jess is just finishing up the kind of... I like doing a monthly roundup of everything we did, and the highlights, the lowlights, you guys can guess the lowlights this month. We're breaking everything this month. Breaking everything! <laughs> Um, just quickly putting that up online and then we're going to put up a vlog, a Costa Rica vlog, I guess. Well, I guess our last day in Utah. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a Costa Rican fruit called cocote, I think. <laughs> cocote. I'm going to try it. But hang on, let's try it over here. Because we want to paint, keep painting our pots. 
cocorte. You got an audience. Hi. I think they want your cocorte. You coco want cocorte? <laughs> Not nice. It's like um, it tastes like a mango, but then it makes your mouth taste furry. Oh, I hate Hang that. Hang on, you have to try it. Oh, okay. It's like sweet, but it's just this weird texture. See? Mmm. Furry. Mm. Sweet, but furry. Sweet, but furry. Let's go paint. Alright guys, so we are still here painting and we've decided to do a live periscope and getting people from all around the world to tell us what to write on these on these pots. I'll show you. So they've asked for, so far they asked for a sun. Oh yeah, this is the periscope here. I'm live streaming right now. Okay, go. There's a sun, love heart, someone wanted the quote, live life to the full. Someone wanted a daisy. Someone wanted the name, Kirsten. Yeah. That's what we've got so far. And we're getting suggestions to see what they would like on their pot. And then we're going to plant some plants in here and it's going to stay at the shelter. That looks good. Yeah. yeah. So then everyone, yeah, just more interactive. Everyone gets to kind of leave their mark here in Costa Rica and then we'll show you the end result. <laughs> All right, there's not much room in here. <laughs> so it's the afternoon jobs, and we have uh, our duties are to clean the marmosuit cages, and yeah. One yeah. wants to say hello to you. Oh, he's <laughs> Hello. What are you doing? And this one's interested in you as well. Uh oh, they're all coming to you, Stephen. <laughs> Cute. They're like right on my leg. They're all around your feet. What is he doing? They're all very interested in you. Feet in your home. <laughs> There's three. I'm trying to I'm trying to clean here, buddy. They're <laughs> jumping on it. Not yet. They keep um, nibbling at his little white string. Oh, yeah, what is it? <laughs> he wants a close up, Steve. He's like right on the lens. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a close up, Steve. You can take a monkey selfie. <laughs> <laughs> they love you. <laughs> They're fine. Hello. We're just here in the mama suit pen. One loving my camera and they're just so interested. They love you, Steve. It's my new photography assistant. They love Are you trying to film Jess? Are you okay in there, Stephen? Um, I don't think I'm doing much work at the moment. <laughs> no! I'm trying to, but they keep going on my broom. <laughs> be released they're from Brazil so if they ever get put out into the Costa Rican like ecosystem they don't know what will happen so they're not like really made for Costa Rica so they can't release them um, they save them I think they save them from being pets of people's do you I'm remember sure. Stephen? I'm not sure I haven't heard this they did save them and now they're here and this is actually second generation they bred here but they still can't let them go so that's why they've got some babies that love going on people's shoulders and yeah, I reckon these are the cutest. There's one on your shoulder right now, Steve. Oh, Just there it goes. Say hello. Hi. So now it's time to clean Simona's cage with her little baby, which is not named at the moment. So I'm just gonna go in. It's yeah, I might. Lino. Oh, it's oh, Lino. So this is Simona. She likes cuddling. So the story with Simona is that she was trained to pickpocket, which was unfortunate. So they saved her. So sometimes when you jump in while we're still trying to rehabilitate her, she will kind of go through your pockets. She's probably very interested in the camera because that's probably the type of thing she was trained to steal. But yeah, this is a uh, little baby. Aww. She likes cuddles. She's so anyway. cute. I best do some work. She don't want you to do work. 
nice look after Simona while Stephen cleans in that room and then we swap. Yeah, and there's a little hole for her to run into the other cage that's like separated just to um, kind of distract her more because she loves humans. Yeah, she yep. really does. And we try to only limit contact and cuddles with her to 30 minute sessions just so that, you know, she still needs some love and all that but we need to cut it down so she's not all reliant on humans. Alright, our last job of the day is to feed and give the baby soft exercise. The one you made before that is blind. Here she is, so very I, ready to come out. Open the cage and you just... Oh, I can see the doubt in those eyes Even though you try to hide it There's not much to figure out Cause I know why And I won't try to fight it, try to fight it And I'll be the first to tell you You were right Oh, you were right, oh, you were right Won't try to say I'm sorry This time But I want you to know that I was wrong I know I know I just wanna say that I was wrong Alright guys, we just had a bit of a, we just finished up work and now, yeah, it's night time so we are going to go and have some dinner. So every Wednesday night to have a bit of fun, we all kind of hire out a bus for like two dollars each or something because yep. it's so cheap here. And we'll go to the pub just to kind of relax, get away, just kind of, you know, enjoy it a bit. Alright, we're off. Gummy! Excited to get a Coke, Jess? Yes, I really have a craving for soda. <laughs> Such alcoholics. <laughs> you don't know how much you crave things when you can't have them. <laughs> really nice getting out of the place and getting to know everyone more yeah. than anything. Yeah, and uh, it was nice having a soda. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even though it was we're not real that, good having a soda. Even though we're not that obsessed with it, but when you come here and like, you can't have soda, that's all you want. You, you're not that obsessed with soda? Okay, I am. <laughs> anyway, we learned uh, good night in Spanish. So. And the only reason we remembered it is because it is buenos, buenos nachos. <laughs> no, but I think it's like buenos na nachos. I just say buenos nachos. <laughs> Boring as nachos, mate. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.